The next part we're going to do is the Lego arms. To begin with, we'll go up to where it says new, select metric, stand in millimetres and click create. When the file opens, we're going to begin by clicking on the pencil and selecting a vertical work plane. Now the first step is to draw a circle that's a size 4. So I'm going to select the circle tool, select the centre point in the yellow dot here, and we're going to make a circle that's size 4. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. The next step we want to do is draw a kind of a rectangle shape. Uh, to do that, I'm going to use the line tool. So I'm going to come to the edge of the circle and draw a vertical line down by 5. And then going to come across horizontally by 4, and then back up to the edge of the circle, just like that. We then want to draw the bottom part of the arm, because the arm's got a slight bend in it. So to do that, I'm going to draw a line uh, going from this point here. Now the line I would like to do wants to be 4 millimeters in length. Now, this line also wants to be a certain angle. At this stage, I'm going to do the angle separately from the length, just so it's uh, nice and clear. So I've got my line drawn at size 4. I like the internal angle here to be drawn at 120 degrees. So to do that, I'm going to select the dimension tool. I'm going to select this line. I'm going to select this horizontal line. I'm going to bring my mouse out. You'll see we've got a now and we've got an angled dimension. So if I click, I can then type in 120. And we get that size in place. I then want to draw a line that's going to be going from the bottom, this last line here, along. And this is going to be 4 millimeters in length. What I'd like to do is do another dimension, another angle dimension. So I like this line and this line to be at right angles. So I'm going to select this line here, select that line there, and just check that it's 90, which it is. Then I can use my line tool, and I'm going to draw a line from the end of this line to the corner point here. We can have a green dot to green dot each time, and we've got the arm drawn in place. Now we're going to extrude this arm, so we'll need to remove some lines, um, so we have an outline profile. So I'm going to start by using the trim tool. I'm going to trim this bottom part of the circle here. I can then hit escape, so nothing's selected. Then select this line, hit the delete button, and we've got an outline profile shape. What I can then do is extrude that out, and I'm going to extrude that by 4 millimeters. So again, in the pop-up window, select 4, and we have that in place. Now, next step is to go and draw the hole for attaching the hands. That's going to be this end part just here. So to do that, I'm going to click the pencil, select the surface, and zoom in. Now, I like to get this in the center. Um, there's many ways of doing this. I'm going to show you another way of finding the center. So using the line tool, I can click this top corner here. I just squeeze this corner here, and this corner, and this edge. There we are. I can then come down here, select this corner, and that point there. And where the two lines cross, it gives us the centre point. I can use the circle tool. Where the lines cross, there's a green dot there. And we're looking to draw a circle out that has got a size of 2. Now, I will then want to extrude this. Now, what I'm, I'm going to show you just now is not to delete those lines that form the cross, but actually to turn them into construction lines. So I'm going to hit Escape, so nothing's selected. I'm going to then left-click on this line, and then right-click and select the construction button. So then on this line here, I'm going to left-click to select it, and then right-click and go construction. What this will do, will keep those lines there, which will help keep the size and the circle in the right place, but it won't be counted as part of the profile shape only this solid line will be. Then hit the finish sketch button. I can then extrude that in the way by 2 millimeters. I have the hole for attaching the hand. Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to do the, the bit coming out for the shoulder. Now if this is the right arm, it means we're going to have a, a, sh a shape coming out this way to go into the, the torso. We have a cylinder coming out from this point here. So I'm going to select my pencil and I'm going to select this edge. Now at this stage I'm going to draw a circle from the yellow dot out and I'm going to make it size 4. To finish that, I can then extrude that in by 3 millimeters. That's what's going to go into the actual torso. Last of all to make the arm look a bit better, we can then fill it the outer edge so it looks a nicer shape. So I'm going to select the fillet tool and I'm going to take my model round. 
I'm looking to select, now I think I'm just going to do this to size of 1. I'm going to select these edges just here. Those edges there. There we are. And that's where I've got a completed right arm. Now to do the left arm, what we do is we go up and first of all save that. So file save as, save that in your folder as right arm. We can then go up and go file save as and save this as left arm. And with the left arm saved, what we can then do is go back across to the model tree, delete the fillet, delete extrusion 3, click OK, then select the opposite side of the, uh, the, the arm, draw a circle just like we did before, to a size of 4, we can extrude that out by 3, and then fill it to a size of 1, the opposite edge to create the left arm. The last part we're going to make of the LEGO character is the hands. Now we only need to make one hand because in Inventor you can put the same component part into an assembly as many times as you like. So we're just going to make the one hand. To begin with we're going up to click on New, select Metric and Standard Millimeters, click Create. When the part opens we're going to start by clicking on the pencil and selecting our work plane. I'm going to select the work plane and be on the base. Now the first step is to make a circle with a diameter of 3mm and then a concentric circle with a diameter of 5. So, circle tool, click the center point, and I'm going to do a diameter of 3. Now, concentric means that it shares the same center point. So, circle tool, center point, and we're doing a diameter of 5. Now, next step is to actually shape this into more of a hand shape. So, I'm using the line tool. I'm going to go to the top of the inner circle and select that point just there. Draw a horizontal line, then do the same at the bottom of the inner circle. Again, horizontal line. Notice I've taken these lines right through. I'm then going to draw a line here vertically. Now, I like that line, vertical line, to be in the center of these two circles. So, to do that, I'm going to take my line tool and I'm going to draw a line going from this circle to this circle. Then it allows me to then come back with my line tool selected and find the midpoint of this line, which is the green dot and draw a line up the way, like so, and then down the way, like so. Now, let's use the trim tool to shape this. So, use the trim tool, I'm going to delete this part of the circle and this part here. Also, these lines, on the left hand side, I want to delete this part, this part, that bit of my line there, and that bit of my line there. I'm going to, like I've done in my previous video, hit escape, and turn this line here, into construction by left clicking and then right clicking and going construction like so. Now we have the, the profile drawn, you can click the green tick and extrude that by 4 millimeters to give a hand shape. Last of all we're going to do a little peg that comes out the back so we can attach the hand to the arm we've made previously. So I'm going to start by clicking on the pencil, selecting the back edge. Now we're going to draw just like we did in the arm, two lines, going from corner point to corner point, and corner point to corner point to find the center. Circle is going to be where the lines cross. It's going to be a size of two, like so. Before I finish, I want to turn, so I'm going to hit escape, and turn these two lines here into construction. So I'm going to left click, then right click and go construction, left click, then right click and go construction, and then hit the green tick and extrude it out. So we click on the circle and we extrude it out by 2 millimeters to create the peg to attach it to the arm. And there we have made the, the hand. 